Hi everyone. Hope everyone is staying safe and doing well. I'm on here tonight to give you your preview of what tomorrow's burn is going to be. Um, so typically what happens in burn is there are five exercises and five cardio. Um, for those of you that weren't on last week. So this week, um, what we're gonna do is a whole body burn. So you'll get a little bit of everything for every body part. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do an exercise and a cardio and exercise, cardio, etc. You need to set your timer for 45 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Please make sure you have your water. That always um, is essential that you stay hydrated during our exercises. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to demo for you. Um, you can see I have my stairs, but in my basement, I have a pole. Oh, that might be okay. Um, so it's hard to get around the pole to show you my stairs, but I do have one exercise that I would like you to do on stairs if you have it. If not, I'll give you a modification for that. All right, so first exercise, what we're going to do is we're gonna do a wide stance plank with a leg lift. So what you need to do is ensure, get in a stance position, or sorry, in a plank position first. Uh, make sure that bum is down and your core is tight and engaged. You may do this on your hands or you may do it on um, your elbows. You choose. Your legs need to be a little bit more than shoulder width apart. And then I'm gonna show you what you do. I'm just gonna put this down just a little bit. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go on my elbows. I think it's a little more challenging to do that. So you're in your plank position. I'm gonna go sideways. So you can see my bum is down, okay? Bum is down. So you should be fairly straight. You can't really see that way. And then what you're going to do, I'm gonna go back this way so you can see my cleavage that I do not have. <laughs> All right, so what you're going to do in plank position, on your elbows, lift one leg up, nice and straight and down. Other leg up, nice and straight and down. Let me see if I can do a side. I'm gonna turn the camera. Maybe this will be better. Oh yeah, I think you can see me better this way for this exercise. So plank position on your elbows or on your hands, whichever you want, lifting your leg up and slowly down, up and slowly down. That is exercise one. I'm gonna put it back up here. Sorry for the movement in the camera. I just wanna make sure you guys can see everything. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do seal jacks with that. So seal jacks, just like this, arms out and in, and you can bark like a seal if you want. Arr, 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 arr. Totally and completely up to you. Um, and then what we'll go, what we'll do is go to the second exercise. So the second exercise is a figure eight with a weight. So you will go in a lunge, take your weight, make sure that back knee is down as far as you can. Your upper body is straight. You're not bent over like this and switch legs, figure eight underneath, switch, figure eight. You might want to grab it right on the handle. It might be a little bit easier. I'm not sure. It depends on how heavy a weight you're using. The weight I have is a 15 right now, and it's actually easy to grab that one. If you happen to have a kettlebell at home, this one is really great for the kettlebell. And then your cardio. Ah, everybody knows how much I love burpees. Can't forget to do a burpee, so you're gonna do a one-legged burpee. So jump up if you want, or just reach up down with one leg. Ooh, I just kicked my wall. Back in, up, switch legs, out, in, and up with one leg. All right, that is your cardio for that one. Then, because I love burpees so much, you are going to do a burpee out. All right, so you will burpee out, come up, stand up, and 
bicep curl. Make sure, or hammer curl, whichever one, doesn't really matter. As long as your arms are tucked into your sides and you're not wiggling like this, when you're doing it, your core is nice and straight. You're using your arms, either bicep or hammer, whichever one, doesn't really matter. It does basically the same thing. All right, that is your next one. Then your oh, cardio for this one, our pulse squats. So what you're gonna do is your feet are gonna be a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You're gonna pulse, pulse, up, pulse, pulse, up, pulse, pulse, up. You're gonna really feel that burn in those legs. Make sure that upper body is nice and straight again. Your core is engaged and nice and tucked in. You'll feel it much better. Pulse, up, pulse, pulse, up. Okay, that's your cardio for that one. Next, you are going to be doing, oh, a chest press to a skull crusher. I'm gonna bring the camera down. You are going to use one weight for this. So you're probably able to go just a little bit heavier uh, because you're only using the one. So what you are going to do is, I don't know if you can see me, oh, weight's in the way. All right, here we go. Press up and skull crusher. And come back down, arms are up nice and straight. Now this one, you're only bending the top part, so your elbows are up pointing up to the ceiling and it's like you're coming down and crushing your skull. Okay, up one more time and down. Okay, so you see when I'm down, my elbows are pointed right up to the ceiling. All right, that is your fourth weight exercise. Then your fourth um, exercise is where I want the stairs. All right, we are going to do run-ups. So here's your choice for this one. So this one, stairs, you're gonna run up and down as fast as you can go. Hopefully you can see me, yeah, you can. I know I'm a little far away from that one, but I think you get the gist. So you're running up the stair, just the one, just your first step. The other option for this one is to do a leap and a sprint, sprint back. So what you'll do is you'll leap as far as you can go and then sprint back really fast. Leap, sprint back really fast. That's the other option just in case you don't have stairs. Probably most of you do, some of you probably don't though. Um, so that's your second option if you can't do the run-ups, but I would love to see you doing the run-ups. And the last one, four weights, oh, is squat and press. All right, so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna stand again with your feet just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. When you come into your squat, you're also going to press. So you can start like this if you want. You're gonna squat, press, okay? Trying and doing it all at once. It's challenging, but you can do it. Squat and press. Ready? Squat and press. Okay, that's your last weight exercise. And the last um, exercise you're going to do for cardio are mountain climbers. So as fast as you can go, that was sideways, can't hardly see me. Here we go. There we go. Mountain climbers, as fast as you can go. So those are your 10 exercises for burn. You'll do, again, 45 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Um, you'll need a mat, you'll need a set of weights, and either stairs or no stairs, doesn't really matter. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you was in the last round for your last exercise, so the last squat and press and the last set of mountain climbers, I want you to set your timer for one minute. And then, I probably will have a finisher for you. I'm just gonna go look something up and see what I come up with. And uh, we'll have a nice little finisher at the end for you to work on as well. 
I'm gonna try and find something fun. So, hope you guys all have a great night. We will see you live at nine tomorrow morning. Take care.